And that has some bringing up a decades old law and asking, isn't he required to give that money back to taxpayers? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers. 99.9% .9 of you have no idea what the GAN limit is. But there's been a lot of talk about the so-called GAN limit in light of the state's $75 billion budget surplus. The GAN limit is a spending cap passed by voters in the 70s, prohibiting the state from spending more tax revenue than it did back in 78, adjusted for inflation, population, and voter-approved increases. It's likely we'll hit the GAN limit for only a second time since 1979, and that will be determined over the course of the next year. If the state exceeds the cap for two years, which looks like according to the Legislative Analyst's Office, any tax revenue above that limit must be given back to taxpayers. Half goes to schools, half in the form of a tax rebate or reduced tax rates. But the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association believes rebates must be distributed equally to all California taxpayers. The governor's $8 billion stimulus proposal only cuts checks to people who make less than $75,000 a year. That represents 78, almost 80 percent of all tax filers in the state. The folks at Howard Jarvis say the stimulus checks don't qualify as GAN limit rebates and shouldn't offset the money the state will owe all taxpayers. This is uh, above and beyond the statutory requirement. The governor didn't directly answer questions today about whether he believed the stimulus checks would qualify under the GAN requirement, but he made it clear. This is just the first of many announcements this week.